Are you ready to start your engines? The 63rd annual Daytona 500 is right around the bend, and nothing says tailgating or home gating on race day quite like a delicious beef recipe. I recently spoke with James Beard, award winning chef, restaurateur, and cookbook author Hugh Atchison. Take a look. Let's talk about this. So, um, Hugh, tell us about beef. It's what's for dinner 300. Well, I'm in Denver, but I'm in Centennial, and I'm at the National Cattlemen's Beef Association headquarters. It looks like I'm at the Daytona International Speedway. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because Beef Checkoff is sponsoring the first NASCAR race of the season, which is the Beef It's What's for Dinner 300. And that's on Saturday, uh, the 13th of February, and the next day is the Daytona 500. So this is the beginning of that amazing weekend in American sports culture, of and just the kickoff of the whole NASCAR season. So we wanted to tailgate and we wanted to, but tailgating now you can call home gating or driveway gating or yurt gating, whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, but these are three recipes that you can get online. I'll give you the address later on. Um, but it's a beautiful beef red chili. This is flavored with ancho chilies and basillas and, and uh, guajillos and it's made with chuck roast and it's just a classic beautiful chili and then i would garnish it you know you can make it a couple of days ahead you can have all these garnishes you can have radishes and sour cream and pickled jalapenos and lime and cotilla or whatever you want serve it with some flour tortillas on the side and you've got an amazing chili then I've got a New York strip that I'm going to cook last minute. We're going to rest it and then shave it down. And in this case, it's with a cat green cabbage slaw and then a salsa macho, which is this amazingly addictive salsa made from peanuts and chilies and oil. Then the ubiquitous patty melt, rye bread, a beautiful 80-20 beef burger, melted cheese, slowly cooked onions, special sauce. And you can get all these recipes at beefitswhatsfordinner.com. And again, the race is February 13th. It's the Beef It's What's For Dinner 300. It's brought to you by the Beef Checkoff. That looks delicious. Every single recipe and meal there. Talk about some of your tips really for the perfect tailgate, some cooking tips for us. You know, I think you just want to get organized. We cook best where we're free of anxiety of the dinner party that's upcoming. And I think you just want to get organized. Think like a chef, have everything lined up. You know, the chili, if you're going to make it, you're going to make it a couple of days ahead and reheat it. And it's going to be good to go. Big pot of that beautiful spread of condiments. You've got a meal. The tacos, you're going to cook the beef the last minute, but everything else can be organized and made ahead of time. So really it's worry free. Same thing with the patty melt. You're going to pre uh, form the patties, get them in the fridge, keep them cool until you're cooking them. Then you've got all the ingredients laid out and ready to go. Slow cooked onions, the special sauce, the rye bread, the cheese is already cut. And then you can make that really quickly and effectively because I want you to cook. I don't want to be, make you feel anxious. I want you to realize that we all have the capacity to provide nourishment to the people we love and want to hang around with. And a tailgating experience is just that sort of thing. So let's have fun. Start the engines. Go left really fast. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Make your race day meal planning now with your favorite cut of beef. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for fantastic recipes and more. This segment was sponsored by National Cattlemen's Beef Association.